Hello YouTube, how's everybody? Uh, this is a TV in my uh, family room. It's a 60-inch Vizio uh, flat screen high-definition TV. It's an older model, so it only has uh, three H HDMI ports. The first H HDMI input I connected to a cable, just like everybody else. The second HDMI uh, uh, port I connected to uh, this device right there. It's called a TV Pad 3. It's a desktop device to get uh, Asian channels from the internet. It's all free. The, the machine cost, when I bought it, was like 250 or something like that. that uh, but I don't know what, how much is it now. I'll show you later how it works. And on HDMI 3, I connected to uh, the Intel Compute Stick, which is uh, running Windows 10. Normally it comes with Windows 8.1, but I upgraded to Windows 10 recently for free. It took six hours to upgrade, but it works great. I'm very happy with it. The Intel Compute Stick works excellently with uh, Windows 10. And this is uh, today's uh, Yahoo News page. Let me show you what the Intel Compute Stick looks like. Here it is. This is the Intel Compute Stick. It's a miniature computer making this TV an extremely smart TV. This one is the micro SB power input only for the for the unit. This one is the USB port 2, 2.0 which you can use to connect to uh, USB devices. And over here, right here, there is a slot for micro USB card, which I put in a 64 gigabyte micro uh, SD card. Micro SD card. Here's the connection to the TV. HDMI. Now I get my internet through uh, a device called the Netgear AV500 power line adapter. My um, router is in another room, pretty far from this room, so there's no way I can pull a line all the way from there. So this is what I did. I connected to the power line. And connect the power. Connect the, this uh, this uh, Netgear Netgear AV500 power line adapter, and splitting the Ethernet into two using this uh, Ethernet switch, four pole Ethernet switch. One goes to the the, the TV pad three through this. Uh, this uh, USB Ethernet adapter. The other, the other one goes to my TV pad right there. TV pad three. So this is how, how I have input. See this USB port right here. I connected to this uh, four uh, port USB switch. One goes to the internet. Another one goes to a hard disk right here. This is a one terabyte hard disk. And then the third one goes to my my camera, USB camera for Skype and all that. So this is how it works. And now because uh, the U the only USB port. It was taken up by by all three devices. I use uh, input for the input of uh, for the pointer, mouse, and keyboard. I use this. Right here. This is a Bluetooth keyboard. Works very well, and this is a Bluetooth mouse. Works very well. Both both works very well within 30 feet of the TV. 
So that's folks, that's how I connect my uh, Intel compute stick to the TV. So here's a schematic drawing. Here's the Intel compute stick right here. And uh, this one connects to the TV. Here's a 64 gig uh, micro SD expansion card that I put in. And then this is a power, power in, micro SD power input. And then this is a USB port 2, which I have connected to a USB port switch. USB switch. The first one I connect to a Ethernet adapter. USB Ethernet adapter to go to the internet for internet input. The second one goes to a uh, one terabyte hard disk. The third one goes to the cam uh, camera, camera and uh, microphone for uh, for Skype. And connected to uh, the Intel compute stick are my Bluetooth keyboards and mouse. So this is watching uh, Netflix in high definition through the Intel compute stick uh, through the internet. It's uh, it's pretty good, very smooth, no problem whatsoever. At four and a half months old, a human fetus has a reptile's tail. So this is uh, YouTube uh, watching one of my own uh, videos I upload earlier on uh, Intel Compute Stick Windows 10 upgrade. You can watch it yourself. But uh, as you can see, it's very well. Looks really good. So this is uh, Intel Compute Stick on HDMI 3. That's the TV Pad 3 right there. Well, folks, this is how it's my TV is set up. Thank you for watching.